Good morning, bitches. Welcome back here to Reflex GT. It's time to get underway here. I had a DJ Wheat moment there for a second. My apologies. Huh, for those who don't know who DJ Wheat is, don't ask. Let's uh, get underway here for a match number five, six, or seven. It is going to be none other than the Dutch Wolves versus, well, the Roughnecks. The Roughnecks. The Roughnecks. So, uh, somebody's going to be joining me in this for, the, for this one. Huh? Isn't hey. that right, Starry? That is right. Yes, yeah, what happened? Uh, we pretty much choked against La Lita, which means that we're now out of the tournament. We're seeded first and we finished something like top 12 to 8. And I played absolutely awful on respawn, as people will be no doubt delighted to hear. And yeah, so I'm ended up with the booby prize and that's a good old night in with A-spec. Yes, absolutely. Now, well, let, let's be honest. Like, we've got 21 teams. Yeah. So that's 80-something uh, teams, that uh, 80 players that are on site yes. here. So you're, you're like one of a few that can actually claim to fame. That, that's your claim to fame right here. Man. That's not my claim to fame. Absolutely. No. I've, I've, done, like, I've been to two lands before and like... I've not actually played that badly, but today on Respawn, on S&D I was fine, but mm -hmm. on Respawn I literally played just awful. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know, we were 3-0 up in, on C-Town S&D against Lali, and uh, they pulled it back and won 4-3. <sighs> yeah. Whop, whop. I'm, I'm just saying I did drop nine kills in that game, maybe a few more, but I, I can't remember exactly, but yeah, <laughs> that's me out of it. But then again, I made up for it with my, with my bombs on Respawn. Yeah, you'll be hearing a lot more about it on eueesports.com, so please go check that out. Yeah, absolutely. Do, do go check out the uh, the website, the uh, eueesports website, because uh, there's a lot of good articles coming up there. So that's definitely a lot of great information that yep. is available. And as well, what you can do is is you can uh, look at our newest toy that we have. We have ourselves a what is called a live image feed at the bottom of the stream. Nice. It's not in the stream itself, like. Like this area, like this, this all this stuff over here. Yeah, it's it's below this. Like you have a box, like the, the play and the slider. Yes, I'm the man in your machine, and I'm telling you to read the stuff right below the box you're looking at right now. Pretty goddamn awesome. Yeah, well, goddamn awesome. Goddamn Damn awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah, since since we're on the road of plugs, then feel free to follow me on Twitter to oh, yes, hear me more as well. about my at, at, at Aspec at, at Starry HD. Yes, I need I need I need a bunch I more need followers. I need a lot more followers. He has around eight hundred and something, eight 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 or something. I, like I that. had eight 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 early today, but it's it was at uh, eight nine six earlier, yeah. so I need more. Uh, I have fifty eight. So come on, help a brother out. There's my I'll, cheesy I'll, wink right there for I'll, the camera. I'll, look, look I'll, I'll give you a mention. How does that sound? That's, that would be amazing. That will, that will, no, that I'd that love will you. I'd work. love you forever. Well, uh, you already do, so it's <laughs> yeah, okay. True. Yeah, true. <laughs> I actually have uh, 892 right now, so I need eight it's more. Just, going if, up I can, if, I get, if I can get eight more before the end of the, uh, end of the day, that'd be amazing. I would not be surprised yes. if that happened. I do. I do get a lot of porn bots, though. To be fair, though, his Twitter is actually relatively very entertaining and actually a good, a good read at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because four, four. Well, I, I was bitching yeah last night at four a.m. in the morning exactly. for some for some reason. What was I? What was I talking about? Oh, I can ima just I imagine just imagine it'd be something about games and someone being stupid and you wanting to punch someone and oh, slay yes. some bitches. Well, no, no, no. I, no I, I'm not. I'm not that vicious. So. I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. As, uh, yeah, absolutely. There's also a poll going on right now at the yeah. same site below us in the little thing. You can have polls going on. It's pretty sexy. Like, yeah. for those people who don't know what a poll is, if you're watching and you're like, what is this Dutchman talking about? <laughs> what you do is, like, there's little buttons and options. Like, you can vote this team for win or vote this team to win or I have no idea. And as it looks right now, 75% of people are saying Dutch Wolves are going to win this. I think 75% of the five viewers are very, very wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I have to agree. <laughs> well, these guys have known each other for quite a long time. Uh, Demonator, or Roughnex Demon, is very good friends with them because he's Dutch himself. Mm -hmm. So, um, And it'll be interesting <laughs> to see that. I reckon there'll be a lot of trash talking this. It's a shame we can't hear that. But on the other side of the map, it's going to be a really, really good matchup, as you say. Mm -hmm. Roughnecks to win, hands Ooh. down. Look at that. They're all three of them right on top of the flag right now. Jacko, who was absolutely bashing through, in, through the lineup, is going to pick up this flag. Has two players in support who are looking towards the spawn, as you can see. This is one of those moments where I wish that I had a tablet here that yeah. I can actually like, draw on just to indicate what we could uh, showcase. But here you go. Jacko is easily going to be able to pick this up. This is going to be the, well, the yeah, Roughnecks have the easier side of the yeah. map at their disposal, so they have, won't have much of an issue yep. on that hand. Yeah, it was comfortable there straight away. Easy start from Ruffin. They're so well set up, really. They've played the game so much as a team since since they formed, you know, whether it's game battles, whether it's tournament matches, whether it's scrims. They've, they, they know exactly what they're doing on every single map, and they'll keep pushing it. And... 
their gun skills good enough so it does get them flags quite easily. So School Otso is picking up a double. He's probably the best player, in my opinion, on the Dutch Wolves team. Uh, he is their SMG objective player, which mm -hmm. is he is he's a very good player. He's got some good gun skill on him. He needs support there from his ARs. Like Renz is an important icon of their team. If he has a good game, they normally play well as he is their main AR slayer, but he has been known to have poor games in the past and that could very much affect Dutch Wolves. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. School Otso showing his skills right there. As there for a second, they, uh, the the actual Roughnecks kind of over extended themselves with, uh, with Jacko. Going in for the flag very very early on before his support actually managed to arrive on site so that really did not do all too well for his setup this demon does have the flag let's see whether or not we can find him out he has an acr what kind of setup does he have oh hello teammate in towards mannequins he goes stoop table on the other hand does have himself a flag as well are we going to go straight for a full up push with a return going to be happening yes it will and that's going to should be a cap right here for the roughnecks lineup Let's see if that's going to be the case or not. Where is the flag? Ooh, it's not even that far away from the flagpole right now. Yeah, Jacko getting a kill. Nibber's going to get it. Nibber's going to get it. <laughs> not before Jacko yeah. does. <laughs> oh, that'll be a great shot for Nibber. Oh, that was a bit of a foul for Nibber. It was great at first, and then I think he just got a little bit ahead of himself there, and he, he paid the price. And mm. Dutch Wolves have got the flag. They could pick this up. I don't expect them to. I expect them to be able to shut them down. Oh, he's missed his shot. I don't know if he's got through. I think he From has. From the hip as well. Jacko in the words of backup, and oh. that's, put, that's put Demon right on towards the back foot once again. He will be moved in towards support role, while Jacko is going to pick up on towards school arts. And all of a sudden, we actually have the Dutch Wolves in towards a decent position. Nicely being put up. Let's see if Demon actually has a little bit of support. Gets himself a nice little double. Is he going to follow up with a triple and with a flag running away? He does stay half state of hand pro. And there's the rest of his team full on the fence. He needs to go around, get the flash out of there, and go through mannequins up the stairs and get the hell out of there. Is there going to be enough time? Well, we have a single intercept on the other side of the map. It's going to be on Jacko. Gets taken out very, very quickly. Unlucky, and that's going to be the uh, Renz being able to run that flag home, I think. Never mind. It gets shut down, and the return is here. Yeah, that's well played. Very well played from Dan. That was a rare lapse in concentration then from Demon. You don't often see that, and he let them get through and get that cap. He made up for it with that nice little two-piece and then got the flag run. It's just a shame they couldn't bring it home, and in the end, Dan had to clutch it a little bit there to save his team. Jacko is already on those spawn traps, and him and Nibber are so well versed together. There you go, Jacko taking him out. He's going to go for the flag very soon. He knows there's just going to be one more round. Toss a stun. Keep him busy. Oh, and mm. Kanka is, is in a very dirty corner. And Jacko felt the brunt of that corner right there. He's been taken out. And Nibber's just going to have to hold the flag oh, a little bit. Beautiful. Let's see if Nibber can hold himself steady. UMP 45, point blank range with a return. Not really the best return in the world, but what can you do? They're currently 1-1 in this series. Roughnecks are on the easier side of the yeah. map, and they're not really doing anything with it so far. Yeah, this is surprising. I wasn't expecting Gruffnecks to be in this position. I was expecting them, once they got that first flag, to go and run home another two or three. I genuinely did, and I think they've been very out surprised at this. I think they maybe the Dutch Wolves are showing a bit more fight than we thought that maybe they would show, which is good to see, of course. Oh, Dan getting a really nice knife there on school lots. He's going to push forward, see if he can get a last-minute flag pull. Ooh. Oh, awkward. Oh, <laughs> Kanker does take him out. Kanker is playing that holding AR role Kanker. pretty well. Uh, Jacko is going to push, and that is going to be that, and 1-1. One, one. I think Dutch Rules will be fancy in this now. And it's going to be a 1-1 one, one in this series. It is half time. We're going to be switching sides, and let's see how this is going to go together. Demon will be picking up the fat last kill in this one. Very, very classic setup. Is he going to get the... Uh, is not going to get a double kill out of this one? Is he? Did he get the... No, he did not get a two-piece out of that. But it's half time. It is the other side. Let's take a look at what the Dutch Wolves have been doing so far. Their line consists out of School Arts, Renes, Kanka, and Stooptagle. Or stoop day hole if you're Dutch. While on the uh, rough next side, Jacko, Demon, and Nibbler, and Dan will be standing tall. Let's see if Kanka can actually move himself forward. As support of, of school arts is there. So they have two people right on top of the flag, right off the bat. Even though Nibbler is already on the other side of the map. And now it's, yeah, Kanka is going to wait for somebody to walk by and shoot him in the kneecaps. Yeah, absolutely. Kanka will just take his time on that. He knows that the flag's going to come because it's been dropped. He decided to, but that was a mistake, I think, because he got tagged, which means he's going to have to make his move a lot more yep, quicker. There we go. Throwing his Semtex, he's got two stuns. Renzo's going to take the flag, desperately try and pull it away. Uh, I think whoever has the flag for Roughnecks is just holding on a little bit. Oh, dear. A bit of a choke there by Kankaz. Uh, Jacko is going to shut him down. This is, however, going to put the... Well, both sides really on a fall on defensive mode. The flag for the uh, Dutch lineup is all of a sudden going to be sitting inside of... Uh, is it going to be in bicycles? Yes, it is going to yes. be in bicycles. 
Yes. And the Roughneck side will have the flag all the way in the corner. All the way. Yep, there it is. See that thing in the... See yep. that kill flag in the, in the corner? Yes, right, that's yeah. exactly where it is. Yeah, they ain't going to be moving from there for a long time until they've got the kill. Dutch Rules have got two down, though. So they're going to push. If they push on with their with their SMGs, hopefully they can take out uh, Dan Nivitek. There we go. Santa's got the kill. Now, can he get the return? That's important. Renz knows it. He's moving straight towards the flag. Can Santa get the return of that? He got taken out by Jacko, and this fight's going to get there picked it up is. again. Yeah, Jacko's going to pick that up, and they're going to probably spawn up with him, and they'll, they'll just hold it as far as it goes. It is a draw, which means it's going to be a very, very tense this. They only have one guy moving out. It's going to be... Who is it going to be that's moving out? It's School Arts, yes. who's got himself an MP7. The red dot sight, he's going to go for point blank range, and he's going to try to find himself a flag. No, there's a lot of distance right here. He's trying to go for the high ground because he's got a lot of distance to cover, and especially with a MP7, it's going to be very difficult. Normally, you would do it with an ACR. He's going to close the distance. Nice, he's going to get the two-piece. Yes, he will. Oh, Ooh, Jacko took unlucky. him out. He was very close, very close, but so, Jacko must be so weak back there, mm -hmm. begging for support from his team. Uh, they're going to push in now. They know how weak he is. They know they've got to go from... Oh, but then... You see, there you go. That's just such resilience from RNX there. They get free down. Uh, they got the return as well, and that's going to be the cap. That's just some brilliant counterplay there from Roughnecks. Oh, rough, on, yeah. on the bad side as well. Yeah, absolutely. Roughnecks will take the lead here. 2-1 to one in this series. Absolutely sublime play. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Konka is just saying, you know what? I'm just going to keep on moving forward, trying to get control of this uh, of this map. Because they got two minutes and 20 seconds to go. The support is there. They could definitely go on towards the flag. And Konka is just looking for somebody to pick, the, uh, to pick their flag up so he can shoot him in the knees. In the meantime, School Arts trying to take the flag away. It's not going to be enough. Yeah, he's, he's just going to take it Kanka's down. Kanka's positioning it seems to be decent, though. Yeah, I think he, he snuck around the back. He's done the right thing. He's just going to wait, pick up a few kills. He knows that's probably there's defender the defender somewhere. Oh, oh, chokes the knife. It's a shame. That's a real shame. If he'd have got that kill, he would have had no choice but to pull, but it would have put Dutch Rules in a good position. Now Santa's taken down, and RNX are pretty much set up now. They, they know they, they need to hold this back. The bad side's so difficult. They need to just spell out and hold it. Jacko's going to get a counterball. That's just going to buy RNX some more time, but Renz, I think, has got, he's got an SMG out, and I reckon he's got his eyes on a counter cap. Yeah, Ren is definitely waiting for one of his teammates to pick up this setup. It's going to be School Arts, who has got the flag on standby. Are they going to move in? Uh, Rennes is doing quite nice. Has himself steady. Is anybody in the corner here? Doesn't appear to be the case. And MP7 on a roll. And extreme conditioning, bro. Never mind, because there's a counter. Where was... Where was Kanka in that moment? Kanka no should idea. have been backing him up. He's been hanging around that area the entire game. Yeah, but that was not poor. actually doing anything with it. Yeah, poor game sense, I think, there from Kanka. I think maybe he was being shouted at, told different things to do. But, uh, yeah, he should have just gone, gone with her and supported mm -hmm. his flag carrier. Because you need to cap flags to win the game, mate. Exactly. Oh. Gets Ooh. almost get himself the uh, double. Was there a wall bang going on? Yeah, I'm pretty certain old mm. Santa has missed his stun. And if RNX get this, then I think we can say game over. Uh, have they gone bottom? Yeah, they have. I think Santa has been fooled. <laughs> misses the kill. Oh, this is going to be a cap. Santa's mm, not made Unless this. he gets a turn around. Mm. Oh, school Arts holding it on. Oh, no. they got it. What right a return. Well played from Kanka. Now they've got to run this flag. This would, I believe, be a tie if they get this. I think they they should be able down. to do it because they've got more than enough support, even on the flank. If there is somebody going in, they're going to rush right through the middle and trying to lock off here on Kanka. Is it going to be enough? Because if there is something going to go on, it's going to be a Nate that's coming in from the right, right here, right now. It's going to be a cap. There we oh, go. Very well nicely played. done. And that's going to make it a tie. It's 2-2 two to two with 19 seconds on the clock. We're going to go all the way down to that stopwatch. Kanka going huge for his team there. He needed to make that kill to get the return. And not only that, he makes a kill, returns it. He runs that flag all the way home. Great support from his team. Great resilience from Dutch Wolves as well. We've seen a lot of late flag caps on lockdown as well. Teams just seem to fail at the last minute. They think they've got it in the bag. It doesn't take long to run a flag, around 10, 15 seconds to be precise. So RNX just letting things slip, got a bit too comfortable and uh, paid the price. And we're going to stopwatch as a result. Stopwatch is definitely going to be the case. Let's see how this is going to go down. For those people that don't know how stopwatch works, it's very easy. We put a time down. The first team, the cap, will pretty much get themselves a single point. If the other team, then we're going to reset the map. If the other team does not get a cap within that time, the previous team has a cap. It's going to be the end of that, and the previous team managed to win. However, if the previous team gets himself a cap in that actual time frame, then they're going to win anyway. So that's essentially how it is. It's a lot better than what we used to have. We used to actually replay maps, and I had a gift for that earlier, like two weeks ago. And, uh, well, essentially, it kind of meant, it, it kind of was like this. Blah! That's what the, uh, that's what the gift kind of looked like. So that was my impression of what, how I feel about replaying CTF. Yes.
because yeah. it's horrible. It is quite horrible. It is horrible. But we, we, that's, stop, that's living in the past. Yeah. We are in the future. It's 2012. Oh, man. It's, it's good to know because every time English people come over, we need to put away our flying cars yeah. and our, and our <laughs> silver jumpsuits because we are one hour ahead of you guys. So we, live in, we live in the future. So. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, thing, things change, you know, in, in CTF. Personally, I was a fan of Golden Cap. Uh, to stop what? Yeah, I wasn't uh, on a golden cap. I just thought it was a uh, bit more tense and stuff, but and it, it put a bit more pressure on. But I don't know. That's just my personal preference. Stopwatch isn't too bad. It can be kind of frustrating though. I'm not a stalemate fan. I hate stalemates mm. a lot. Uh, it's 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 yeah. an integral part of the game though, and it, it it's just annoying because it just takes too long for anything to happen. Yeah. yeah, there's there's nothing I hate more being an SMG running a flag so nearly getting it home and then like the last guy, the other team pulling the flag. And managing to get it away from my teammate, I go mental on that. But anyway, Dan is going to run these pushing cards. Oh, getting that spawn trap. Dan is on those spawn traps. They need his mate to run the flag. They are going to be able to pick this up. They have a. Pr oh, that could be a little bit difficult because School Arts is down there. No, it's going to be a run. It's going to be Jacko. He's on the flag. He's not even bothering. Oh, that should have been the rush. They're not even bothering by go uh, going through uh, mannequins now or even down the stairs. Dan is now in support. Flash out of there. This is going to be a cap, but it's going to be... How much time do they have left? Is anybody going through the have sides? Three Ooh, minutes 48. Three there's minutes the cap. 3.47. Yes. That's well played for Moronex. They'll be happy with that. They'll, they'll think they could hold that. It's maybe the bad side, but I think they'll, they'll stick a couple of people on their flag and hold it. Demonator in... And Nipper will play very defensively, I'm sure. One minute, 20, one minute and 13 seconds. Yes. That is definitely interesting. Last time we saw, uh, we actually saw the last time, we, the closest we've seen so far was actually 43 seconds in yeah. the series. So that's, that's definitely it. interesting. Yes. I'm wondering how that is going to... Yeah, well, I've, I've, I've seen every stopwatch I've been to has been quite mm -hmm. a lot as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think... On lockdown as well, I think stopwatch is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it suits lockdown because there's a bad side. So can you get more flags on the good side? You know, can can you get it quicker? Absolutely. On the good side. I, I I do enjoy it on lockdown, but what I do even enjoy it even more on is bootleg. To yeah. be honest, yeah. bootleg it's a beautiful, absolutely. Beautiful game. I hate it on dome because it just takes forever. Yeah, before dome's horrible to because it's so campy. You could just sit at the back yep. of a vacant building. It's just horrible. All right, let's take it away. Let's take it away on here on towards Dutch Wolves. Let's see how they're going to do this and what their setup is going to be. Now they're already sending two. Two players right off the bat, and then one down the middle and one round the side. It's all going to be up on towards Renz. If you can open up, it's, nope, we won't be doing two kills from the Roughnecks coming out to take them down. And that is essentially the initial assault. It's just Khan Cal, who's all by himself. He's going to take up the first. Is he going to be able to uh, clutch himself out of this situation? He needs to get himself the next kill in order to put himself and the rest of his team in a decent position. It's not going to happen. We're going to see uh. ourselves... A, this is going to be a rough next round. Around 3 minutes 48, wasn't it, if that's the case? It was 3.47, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not seeing it. Dan picks up a double. They need to get their players to stay alive a lot more. They're, they're just running at them hopelessly, and they're getting dropped down by flies. Yeah, they, they should probably just get another flag pull here, should RNX. If I was Jacko now, I'd just be running that flag. Home. Absolutely. I can only agree. It just, it's just taking way too long here yep. for them to do anything. Uh, Jacko even has the flag. This is not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't happening. Kanker's down. Renz is still up. He's, Renz has taken the flag, though. Santa, I think, thought it was game over, and it is going to be game over. Time ticks away. In about three seconds. Yes, it ain't happening. And RNX, they, they made it hard work for themselves, but they have picked it up. There it is. 3 and 47. We're going to see ourselves the Roughnecks with a 3-2 win here over the Dutch Wolves. We're going to move on towards Search and Destroy. Are we finally going to go towards Dome, maybe? Or actually, let me take a look. Did we yeah, actually search. start off on lockdown before? Yes, as we're Search and Destroy. We're going to move on towards Search and Destroy on... And now I really need to think what it was. Was it Sea Town? Please, just anything but Carbon. Yeah, it's not going to be Carbon. It's not Dome either. Um, that's because we don't play s and Dome, do we? <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't. They do uh, on GB. They've, they've made GB Dome, and it's absolutely rubbish because I can imagine. Wins. I can imagine. It's like playing headquarters. <laughs> You're stuck in the vacant building. You can't get out. Literally, you can't get out. They're sitting behind the bomb with an ace, ace guard. It's like, out you come. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> could be worse, though. It could be Galves, a place with sniper rifle or something <laughs> ridiculous. Galves like could that. probably do that. Galves would probably like, just get an MSR or something. It's just pre I, I, like, I would not. I did not expect myself to actually be saying this, but I genuinely like miss some of the uh, Black Ops maps. Yeah, same. Like, I miss firing I, I, range. I miss, I miss firing range. I, I miss, miss Havana. I miss Summit. And no, I do as long something. as it's not grid, because grid yeah, was terrible. Yeah, 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 grid was yeah, awful. Yeah, that's not even a I don't know why PS3 kept, PS3 kept that until the end. They Deserto, did? Deserto eventually removed it. They removed cracked 
crack CTF, launch CTF, a grid demo. The grid demolition was horrible yeah. because it, was it never, worst. it never, never ended. I, ever. I got fifth place at uh, EGL4. I would have got fourth if we didn't have grid demo because <sighs> we couldn't get A down. We got it planted near the end. We just couldn't hold it because of, of A. Yeah, so absolutely. That A strong. side was horrible yeah. because the spawns were just really ridiculous and it would always like it doesn't like the plant would happen. Like as soon as you got the plant down, you'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. But there would like. That would only happen one in 50 shots. Yeah. Let's go into this game. We are on SND here on Arcade, and we'll take it away from the Roughneck side. Let's see what kind of setup they're having. Uh, ooh, they're actually looking quite nice here over towards yeah. B. Yeah, they've definitely got Nibba needs to make... He knows someone's going to be pre-aiming him. All those stuns flying out, he knows someone's going to be pre-aiming him. He's just got to take his time with it. Oh, that's clever from Nibba. If School Arts makes it, though, it's all for nothing. Shots fired. Oh, ho, ho. oh, it's a shame you didn't see that. School Arts, he's just thrown a stun. He's hit Nibber with it, and Nibber has oh. died off the stun. Oh, that was quite funny. <laughs> Jacko going huge that round, actually. Jacko always going huge in S&D. Mm, absolutely. There he is. He is currently second on the board together with Demon. Getting a two on two. Jacko, one, two, three. On towards the TPs. On taking Renz down. That's a really risky situation. Uh, really risky position for Renz. You'd yep. see Mythics pulling that one off, but you don't really see that position very often No, anymore. no, you don't. That's a surprise. Um, RNX has, at the moment, started well, showing their, their skills as an S&D team. They are a good S&D team. As I said, they play lots of GP. we're actually seeing MP7 suppressed here, and they need yeah. to put them towards this high ground as soon as they can. If they can control this particular area, then they should be fine, because then it mean, means they can put... Nope, oh, never mind. Oh, oh. RNX, uh, Roughnecks getting themselves two quick, cap, uh, two quick kills back to back. Not having too much issue, but where's the positioning on? The bomb is down, and it is sitting down in the corridor. School us right now. <sighs> it's not yeah. happening. They, they, every time, you no. always find someone up top pre-aiming. That, they... that storage, it just doesn't happen. And they won't be able to... Yeah, yeah, this PP9 is not going to have enough stopping power at this range to actually do anything. Python may be able to do it, but this... It's just... Yeah. yeah. Like, they're just going to wait. They're just going to wait for him to come out. Absolutely. That was a good shot, though, from Renzo to take out Dan. If he can get another one, then you never know. They tagged him. They know exactly where he is. Renzo taking his time. Going to reload. Going to pre-end. Gets Jacko. Mm. That's a big kill. jacko has been on fire recently. So, I think he needs two more. Demonator and Nibber. Is he going to... No, this could be a mistake because there's an ACR pre-aiming yes. this particular area. Absolutely. You know, Nibber's going to check his corners. Nibber might be in one of those corners. There's one on the left as well that's particularly dirty. He sees it. Push it back now. This is going to be big. Nibber wow, sinks. there's actually nobody there to pick it. There we go. Uh, as expected, Nibber sits there on the pre-aim. It was... And in all honesty, I would have almost... How much time did he have left? Uh, he had quite a bit of time. He had about a minute. I think I think his teammates might have called that out, but I think the better option was to go towards Ikea. Yeah, try and, and then go the through, through bar and go all the way around, perhaps, yes. and actually try to push it that way. Still a little bit risky, but... Like, if you take longer than about 20 seconds to do that, then somebody is going to smell a rat. Exactly. But you have to do it very, very quickly. He did have uh, he did have the extreme conditioning on that, yeah. so he would, would have been able to do stuff here. Uh, are we actually seeing any impact being done here? Range, focus, and... Ooh, interesting. We're not seeing any impact on the Roughneck no, side. Not at That's all. a fast plant, to be quite honest, hey, as well. It's going to work. If this comes off, Jacko is going to go for that early plant. He's got a Semtex. If they get this, I'm pretty certain they'll wrap it up. They're just for the spread out. There we go. Bomb's been planted. Perfect A-rush. Oh, Jacko's going to get tagged in the back. He's going to get taken down. It's down. Uh, Dan is around. Oh, Santa gets a two-piece. Dan with that famous MK-14 that he pulls out for rare occasions. Oh, he's going to just take his time. He's already got one kill, which I believe it's a 2v2 situation. Dan and Nibber. Ooh. Dan gets one more. Oh, it's School Arts out. This is going to be down to a 1v1. School Arts versus oh, Dan. Oh, should, Dan should have this, unless School Arts... Uh, nade on towards the side. Semtex to come in. Gets that Python. Oh, this is risky. Is, is he on it? Oh, he is. Oh, nicely done. 3-0. Dan. <laughs> Very fast play here by the Roughnecks. And... The Dutch Wolves are really looking worse for weather, to be quite honest. Yeah, Dutch Wolves are known as a good S&D team as well. They've, they've done well in S&Ds in the past in their seedings. They also play a lot of GB, but uh, I think and maybe this, the gun skill of Roughnecks is just um, doing better, going over them here. I think it's take, they're taking advantage of that better gun skill, and I think they've adapted better to the LAN environment as well, especially um, Jacko and Demonator and Nibba. Mm -hmm. All three of them have been really well played so far. Let's see how this is going to go. We see a very fast push out coming by School Arts, who's all the way up in seat. Oh, very nice push out. Gets the first. Will he be able to follow up right on top of the top of Arcade? And maybe no tags there, though. But this first push out with an ACR nonetheless, even though an Extreme Positioning Pro will be able to do that. Oh, oh. that's a bad Semtex. 
Oh my goodness mm. me! That would have been one for the YouTube videos of yeah. chokes. If yeah, he no kidding. But he, ha ha but the fact that he's pushed up so far does gives his, gives his team the ability to go for that B bomb. Yeah, he's, he'll make up for it if he can get that guy up top. That mm. would have been one hell of a shot. If he I got think him. he's moved back in towards door. He could possibly. He's on his left. He's on his left. I think. I think he's on school to the left around bar somewhere. Yeah, he was. Santa though took him out. So Jacko's down, and it's going to be down to Nibber. And, and there goes as well. Very well done. Very, very controlled push here by the Dutch Wolf side. Very that 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 push right yeah. up the bat was pretty much a critical move that they had to make. Very nicely done. Yep. Question is, are 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 next going to do an Infensus and choke a three 0 lead on S and D? Yeah. I yeah, mean. you've mentioned it. Yeah, I might, I might as well. Bomb is being dropped. So. Bomb is being dropped. Well, as far as I saw, though, if you look at the score, Santa was going pretty nicely. Facing. Oh yeah, yes. there you go. Four, four, three. three. But then again, we got four, three, four, three onwards. Dan and e Jacko. Everyone's contributing. Bar Kanku is is on the one kill. So Do they actually get the entries onto its top? If Jacko goes down here, they'd be in between a rock and a hard place. Well, Demon's already down. Jacko has to stay alive. Yeah. He knows it. Dan's got a kill. Right, that's going to be quite important. Now they're in the free free. Jacko can take his time. Yeah, I think that's a smart play there. Take the bomb. Maybe push it towards A. Where his teammates are. That, this Even this cross? Play. Even this cross right here on the high? It's got to be careful. He knows there's going to be one top. Hopefully, Dan will be pre aiming it as well. There you go. You can see Danny Rupp. He's going to go top. He's going to try and watch the cross. There you go. Nibber as well. He's watching it. So he always sees one. It's getting picked off. He's going to hold the Semtex in. Could be clever. Jacko's also taking time. There might be one top ledge who could take him down. MK14? Yep. MK4 Dan has been known to use this gun on a few occasions. Just uh, he's normally ACR man, but he does pull it out occasionally because it can be very effective. It, very it, accurate. Yeah, it's the one gun where if you get a headshot, then it's, it's one over. bullet. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Jack. Oh, should, probably should not have taken that shot. Definitely not. He's going to have to push right back into spawn. They are all stick it together, which is the right thing to do. Uh, in Dutch, Ikea as well. Yeah. Yes. It's not too bad an area, as I say. Once they go up there, then there'll be trouble. Oh, and Jacko gets taken down. That's a big kill. They're going to be right on the advantage now, Dutch Wolves, which means that Nibber has to move. Yeah, Nibber will need to be able to pick this one up. Has himself that AM14 modification. Special, uh, special operation version. Let's see if the ACR instead can actually do something here, but a little bit more stopping power. There we go. Semtex out. Nibber. Still, can't. he's been in the same spot. So Dutch Rules must have someone just literally pre aim that. Oh, they've got to go for the bomb. They don't have time. Nibber's gonna have to go for the bomb. Dan's gonna have to try and find cover. He's right at the back, behind the door, even just head glitching. There's not really much of a way for Dan to get out. <sighs> How did he manage to get that cross? Oh, what a beautiful there shot that by Dan! Opens up the field. Can he get the second one? So it's unlucky. That would have been ridiculous. That would have been that perfect example for the MK14. You hit a headshot on that gun. It looks. It would have been brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. That would have been material for, like, frag reel material right there and then. Yeah, montage material right there. But that's what you get from it. Mm -hmm. Let's see whether or not this is going to be... If this is going to be the comeback we've been waiting for from the Wolves. Let's go and take a look on the Wolf side. ACR. ACR and ACR. What a surprise. He's Let's got, see if the game... He's got kick on his ACR. Did you see that? That's a surprise move. I'm not really a kick fan at all. I don't think it really does much at all. On ACR as well, I'm, I'm quite surprised. Hey, I'm, you, I personally would prefer impact, to be quite yeah, honest, exactly. especially in Arcade. And Absolutely. Impact and, or focus. Uh, if you're not going to have impact on Arcade, then at least use focus. I'm mm -hmm. very surprised at seeing kick. There oh. we go. Ooh, as proceedings are being opened up right here by the RNX team, the Roughnecks have gotten themselves in the armadillo and they're on the servers of the asteroid. Yep. Time to drill, drill, drill. They're going to have to come up with something mind-boggling to get past this, four against two. It can be done. We've seen it done on numerous occasions. Kanka in trouble. That legendary blue fran moment comes to mind. Yes. Riddles comes to mind. Yes. Excellence comes to mind. Let's see whether or not Kanka and Stoop Tego, even though with their ridiculous names, can actually stas get yep. their feet in. <sighs> They're not going to engage. They're going to yeah. fall back. They're going to go through Ikea. Yeah, just to join, you know, the, the names of, you know, those kind of people that have, you know, uh, made headlines with their reflex GT clutches like that. You know, it would be something special for any of them. I personally, I can't see it happening. But we'll just have to see. Dima takes out Santa, and now Kanka is going to have to go huge. Dan is they in Burger somewhere is. with the MK. I believe he's hitting behind the counter. Yeah, all the way in the back, in the shop. Very, very far away. Would you like some fries with that MK14? 
but he is going to take the bomb. Oh. Kanka says, no, thank you. I will eat it here. And I'm going to take this away. I'll tell you, he's done really well to get away. Oh, he's been taken out by Nibba and RNX. <laughs> oh, they're looking so strong, aren't they? They're picking up these S&Ds as well as the respawns. And at the moment, I can't see many teams stopping them at all. No, absolutely. It's looking very, very strong. Starting up on C2F lockdown with that, well, with that stopwatch taking only 1 minute and 13 seconds in order to pick that up. Then we had, of course, this search and destroy. And for a second there, I could have sworn the Western Wolves would have... Uh, Western Wolves? Western Wolves? The Dutch Wolves. Sorry. They wish. They wish. They wish they were the Western oh, Wolves. Oh, I bet. Yes. Because everybody wants 